Now let's talk about factories to seed some fake data in a more convenient way. Let's imagine you want to test the pagination. So this table would contain 10 records with pagination and you want to test that the pagination works. So you need to create 11 records for example and you want to test that the 11th last record is not on the home page and hidden behind the pagination. I've written kind of a similar test behind the scenes to save you time so you wouldn't spend time on looking at me typing. So test paginated products table doesn't contain 11th record. In the controller I have product paginated by 10 instead of product all and we are creating 11 products in the fake database. Then we're getting the products page and a search view has that the products does not contain our product, the last product, the 11th one. Let's take a look if it works. PHP artisan test, it is green. So pass test, paginated products table does not contain 11th record. Good. But this part is not really convenient to create. For each loop with a lot of data, instead of that to fake some data for the arrange part of arrange act assert, it's quite convenient to use factories. Factory is a set of rules for a specific model and you can find a default factory in the default Laravel project, database factories, user factory. And in the definition method, you specify the rules of different fields. So in the database columns, we have name, email and password, and you have fake helper. In older Laravel version, it was this faker, both still work. It's just a shorter version and there are a lot of functions, a lot of features how to fake some data because you don't care that much what that name actually is, like product one, product two or something. You care about that the same data is then asserted in the assert part of the test. So you fake some data and then you assert that this data is appearing. And in the product factory, you can generate the factory with PHP artisan make factory. And in the product factory, we may define the rules for two fields, basically name and price. Name can be fake, for example, string of text, which is just text of how many characters you want, for example, 20 characters and price, let it be random from 100 to 999. And then instead of doing for each loop or for loop here, you just do product, the model, then factory, how many records you want, in this case 11, create. That's it. And it will create 11 records for you in the database. In our case, in the fake database in SQLite and memory. As a proof that it is the case, let's assign something here and do DD products. And you will see the collection. Let's launch PHP artisan test, which will not be actually test, but will be DD. And as you can see, there are attributes with name and fake price. So this is the product number 10, the array item of 10. Here we have the ninth element, or in fact, it starts with zero. So it is 10th with another name and price faked. So instead of for each loop or for loop, we have factory. Of course, we don't have product by then. That's the downside, but we can get that from the collection. So this create returns a collection. And to get the last product, we have last product equals products last. This is a method of collection. And we copy and paste it here, last product. And we relaunch PHP artisan test and it should be still green. Yes. So the purpose of this lesson was to show you not the pagination, but this part. Within the factory, you define the rules and then you create a lot of data by just calling the factory. Also important and useful to know that you can override some parameters. So for example, in the default product factory, the price is this, but for a specific test, you want to use the same factory, but override some functions. In the create, you may pass array of attributes and for example, hard code the price for everyone to 999 or even 999, totally different value. So then all the records within that product will be created with this price instead of the factory. So you're overriding the values. In the later lesson, we'll actually use that while creating the factory for users, for admin user or simple user and still use factories, but override some of the data.